If you've chosen to write a history extended essay, there are four criteria upon which your extended essay will be evaluated. So one is criterion A, focus and method. The second is knowledge and understanding, criterion B. Criterion C is critical thinking and criterion D is presentation. So for history, there's some specific things to each one of these assessment areas. For one, um, your focus and method for criterion A have to do with the meaningfulness of your, um, your topic that you've selected. It has to do with the quality of your research question, and it has to do with the suitable um, selection of a, of a topic, particularly based on that 10 year rule. Um, so you should take a look at this page. Um, you're starting on page 189 here in the EE guide. Um, and I know that it looks like a mouthful, but it's only a few pages. So it's worth um, going in, even if you've already written your, your um, rough draft to go in, see if there's anything you can tweak to, can, to meet some of these criterion. Criterion B, knowledge and understanding. Um, this means you need to make sure that you have words um, and any jargon related to your particular topic um, that is used accurately, um, that those terms are used ac accurately, um, and that your concepts, you've clearly outlined um, what they mean um, and that you are using those concepts um, carefully and clearly as you write. Your third criteria is critical thinking. And critical thinking has to do with what research you've chosen to use. Have you evaluated your research such that you understand what perspective each writer of your major sources is writing from? You don't take um, information blindly from inappropriate sources. Um, and that, you know, as you go on, you're making a reasoned argument based on historical sources um, that may be biased um, and you're taking that into account. Um, you just want to take a reasoned approach to all of your sources and make that clear through your writing. Again, you're not writing a report, you're writing an argument that's supported by evidence. Um, and for criterion D, your presentation, this is like, do you have your footnotes correct? Are you using your charts, images, and tables correctly? Um, your tables should be enhancing any writing that you're doing. Um, if you're using primary source material, some of that should be in there. You also need to make sure that you're using citations properly, that you have structure to your paper, that you have a bibliography that's accurately portraying the, re the research that you've done. Um, you have your title page, your table of contents, your, your page numbers. All those things are really essential and will get you points. So um, take a look at these pages up to 191. Um, oh, and then criterion E, which is engagement. And again, this is, are you engaging the topic? And is your essay engaging to the reader? Probably. Um, those are all important things to consider as you write your EE in history.